Well, another measles outbreak hits the United States, this time in Washington State. So are the fears of vaccines keeping parents from getting their children the recommended shots? Well, Dr. Sharon Thompson is breaking down the vaccine truths and myths as the debate continues over whether to vaccinate your child or not. American Red Cross, more than 100,000 people died from the measles in 2017 alone. Just think of that number, right? Fast forward to 2019, and we have another measles outbreak on our hands. The latest hit Washington State, where at last check, 55 cases have been confirmed, most of them in unvaccinated children under the age of 10. So what is the reason behind this? Well, experts say vaccination coverage has actually dropped, meaning not enough people are being vaccinated. So could the fear of vaccines keep parents from getting their children treated? And are those fears really warranted? That's why we have Dr. Sharon Thompson joining us this morning to separate fear from fact. Thanks for joining us this morning. Oh, you're welcome. This is certainly in the news right now and mm -hmm. every parent is wondering, so what is real, what is not, right? Absolutely. The fundamental is that vaccines are safe and they save lives. We are living in such a luxurious time right now mm -hmm. because we have vaccines. We don't see polio or smallpox or um, some types of meningitis. Most people are, don't get the flu. And these are all because of vaccines. We're even seeing drops in cervical cancer from the vaccine that was introduced. Most of us can remember when that vaccine mm -hmm. was introduced. And the most recent statistics show that that cancer is on a decrease. So vaccines are so helpful and it's so important that we get them. Let's let's sort of break everything down because what exactly is in a vaccine? What is a vaccine? That's important. So most people don't understand the vaccine. Most vaccines do not have any organism that can make you sick. Because I've heard how mercury, people saying there's mercury in them that can right. make you sick. And that's, that's a good point too. So the vaccine will have a component of an organism that if it were the entire live organism, it couldn't make you sick. Okay. The vaccine has one small part of it. And that part will stimulate your own immune system to build resistance to the actual organism. So whether it's a bacteria or a virus. And you mentioned mercury. So mm -hmm. many vaccines, many uh, um, formulations of a vaccine will have a preservative. So if you have a multi-dose, and it makes sense, right? You don't want something sitting on the shelf sure. that bacteria can grow in. So you put a preservative. And there's a... a certain preservative that's a mercury base that doesn't have any mercury in okay. it, but it's based on it. And that gives people fear because we think mercury bad, sure. which is correct. But this uh, uh, drug that's based on mercury actually is safe. And all vaccines don't have it. Okay. So in fact, all vaccines that are given to children don't have it. Okay. We've taken that out of those vaccines a long time ago. Okay. So parents can rest assured that the vaccines your pediatrician are giving your child do not have that mercury base. So even if in the back of your mind you're like, but I'm worried, you don't have to worry. It's not there. And that's the problem that we're seeing is that so mm -hmm. many parents are worrying so then they don't get their kids Absolutely. vaccinated. And I get it. A parent's mm -hmm. job is to worry about their kid no matter how old they are. <laughs> um, so I understand parents being worried, but I assure you vaccines are safe. Okay. Mercury is gone. And the danger of the disease to your child is so much greater than any tiny risk from the vaccine. Now let's talk about what some of the risks could be. Some people can get soreness. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's I remember normal. when I got my whooping cough vaccine, I was so sore, but I was protected against whooping cough. Um, some people, when they get a vaccine, when their immune system really starts to react and do what we want it to do, mm -hmm. they can feel crummy for a day or two. Because some people say, I swear when I get a, a vaccine, a flu vaccine especially, I get sick. Is there any truth and in that? That's probably what they're talking about, that crumminess that they mm -hmm. feel for a day or two. But that, I assure you, is not the flu. It's not the from the vaccine. The flu can make you sick for several weeks and you can wind up hospitalized. You can be in the ICU. You can die from the flu. Okay. So that few days of feeling sort of under the weather, maybe a muscle ache, maybe a fever for a day, that is actually your immune system responding really well to that vaccine. Okay. So that means your body's doing what we want it to do. When we talk about kids, what about parents who uh, we've heard it in the news before and then we heard of course the news come out that this was not real. We're talking about the connection between uh, vaccines and autism. No connection no whatsoever. No connection whatsoever. And this is because doctors don't want to do anything that's going to harm children and so we reviewed all the data in the world looking to see if there was any connection and it turns out that the one study that mm -hmm. made a connection, it actually was fraudulent. 
So as that review was happening, we, re we looked at that data and said, well, wait a minute, where is this coming from? And it actually wasn't true. It was made up. Why so there's parents... no connection whatsoever between vaccines and autism. And why parents really need to do their mm -hmm. research. It'll be hard to find saying it's, yeah. you shouldn't vaccinate your children. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Sharon Thompson, we always appreciate when you shed some light, especially here when we're looking at the problem of measles in the country. Absolutely. Right now. And it's not too late to get your flu shot. Go get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we see the flu still happening around here in the Absolutely. newsroom. So good advice. Thank you so much.